I think at this point, maybe we'll take questions from the audience. Uh, if there are questions posted on Zoom or on Facebook. Sure, Marcus, yes, there are a number of questions definitely mm -hmm. coming through. Uh, let's see. So uh, since you were just talking, David, about your work with um, with the Yangti Nakbo stuff, uh, there's a question about your current work. Uh, David, I've been enjoying reading through your articles on Zogchen. There are many references in those articles to future sustained examinations of certain topics. For instance, your history of Zogchen. I wondered if you were still working on that material or if you had future Zogchen publications that you're working on. So I guess they're just asking what you're doing, what you're doing now. Yeah, gotcha, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so my life's a little bit complicated. Um, so uh, like many years ago, I, I wrote four large books and completed them. Um, one was about, one was a translation and annotation of Long Chempa's The Treasury of Words and Meaning. One was a, a kind of philosophical contemplative look at the Dzogchen Ningtik and all its various aspects. One was looking at cosmological traditions and how they manifested in Long Chempa's life and um, that's a third book. And a fourth book was a, a very deep dive into the scriptures and literature and how they all relate to each other and so on. And then what happened was two things. One, like all those years, I'd been looking for commentaries on the 17 Tantras, which are the original scriptural base of the Dzogchen Ningtik tradition. And they manifested uh, in uh, about you know 15 years ago or so, or 20 years ago. And suddenly I had like, 5,000 pages of commentary on the text that I'd been working with, these terse, aphoristic, uh, scriptural tantras. And um, and they were not easy to read. They're challenging. And so I thought like, oh, I don't want to publish these when I have these books I should read, but they weren't like a hop, skip, and a jump to read. And then the other thing that happened was at that point, I began to, to go back to Karma's way of framing this um, gathering today. You know, to me, the question I keep asking myself is, how am I beneficial to people in this world? And I felt a, a deep commitment to Tibetan people and Himalayan people. And I felt the need to, um, to, to, to work on that and not simply to be a professor and publish books and so forth. And so I've spent many years of my life doing work back in Tibet that have nothing to do with Buddhism, with entrepreneurship, education, technology, and so forth. And so the combination of those two things really detoured me for a while. And then about 11 years ago, uh, we had the opportunity at the University of Virginia to start something in, in regards to contemplation. And so we started what has become one of the largest uh, centers in the world focused on thinking about contemplation in the context of our, of our educational systems, the uh, Contemplative Science Center. And that was a lot of work too, but it did bring me back to thinking about contemplation and working at it in an applied context and also brought me back from Asia to focus on the United States as well. And so over the last four years, I've been able to successfully gradually get myself back into the world of, of creating um, and writing text and so forth. And so Unfortunately, I started new projects like the Dark Retreat project that James and I are working on. Uh, but I am now working back on these things and I'm working back on those commentaries on the 17 Tantras, which I spend a lot of hours every week with various people around the country uh, working on, trying to translate. And so um, I have a series of leaves over the next four years where even while I continue to help with the Contemplative Science Center, I'm gonna be producing those books finally. So those things will start to emerge. I, I just finished um, a piece on divine creation that will come out in this volume uh, in honor of Janet Gatso, I guess next year. I've also finished up a piece, on, a big piece on effort and effortlessness that will come out in a journal, uh, hopefully before the year is over. So, so that's kind of where things are. 